Hey everybody, welcome back to CS125. So today I decided to uh, go get my furry friend here to help me uh, introduce today's lesson because um, null, which is the subject of our lesson today, I've decided is sort of like a cat in the sense that um, most of the time, I'm not even sure you know where she is. This is gonna be a terrible analogy, but just stick with me. Um, so most of the time you don't even uh, know where she is. You know, she's like, you know, in invisible, right? I'm not going to say she's nothing. Clearly, you're something. You're right here, and you're a little bit resentful about doing this, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. She was sleeping. Um, anyway, so most of the time, no, it's just nothing. You know, it's the nothing that is. Um, you're not a billion-dollar mistake, are you? No, that's the thing. That's what they say about no, no. She didn't cost a billion dollars, and she's not a mistake. Anyway, uh, just to finish up this completely tortured analogy, from time to time, though, this nothing that is, this null, this, you know, cat in my metaphor, can actually, despite the fact that it's friendly most of the time and we'll find good ways of dealing with it, from time to time, it can bite you. So, uh, or scratch you or claw you or whatever. Um, so that's our topic today. This is kind of a, a fun lesson where we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit of kind of uh, something about Java that has a history to it, something about it that's, you know, maybe a mistake, uh, something that wasn't done properly. Um, you know, Java's an old language. It's a mature language. There's a lot of good things about it. This may not be one of them, but it's something that you need to know about so that you can write more uh, effective and safe programs. So enjoy today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of cat time there, and I will see you at the bottom. 